Can you write a program in Java to print alphanumeric a string? Okay, alphanumeric a string should be length more than six characters. A random string, basically. Okay. So hello guys. As per the interview question, we have to generate six character alphanumeric string using Java only. So. There are multiple ways to generate random alphanumeric string in Java but we are going to see the most effective and simple ways to generate alphanumeric string okay so first way is to using UUID okay so this is universal unique identifier mostly used in tokens in database for primary keys and in test data also so today we are going to use this to generate alphanumeric string random alphanumeric string okay so first import this okay and once you import this we are going to use this method random uuid this will generate random uuid okay and after that we are just converting in to string only okay and we are going to save the string variable So here we'll get 36 characters unique ID. Okay, let me show you how this generates. So this will generate string like this. Okay, so you can see some hyphens are also there. So this is a 36 character string this generates. So now we are going to remove first hyphens from the string. Okay. So, using the replace method, okay. Replace, sorry, hyphens with nothing, okay. So, we will get the hyphen removed string using this replace method. Now, our requirement is to generate six character okay this string is 36 character so how we can make it six character so we'll make substring of request string okay we'll use the requesting dot substring okay and we'll provide indexes here zero and six right. so this will provide six character alphanumeric string okay let me print this let's execute okay you can see here this is a six character alpha numeric string let me execute once again you can see here we are getting random six character alpha number string we can use this string wherever we want like storing screenshot in test data as well okay so second way is to using random class or secure random class okay so using this classes as well we can generate alphanumeric random string okay so for that first i'll create one integer variable for required length In our case it is six character right now we'll create one string variable for providing the data okay or input you can say so this is our input so while creating or generating the alphanumeric string this will pick the alphabets from this data only okay I'll create one more string here for required string right this we are going to save our string okay and for this we are going to create random class object here okay so these are the four requirements okay 
and now we'll implement the logic here for that I'll create one for loop here and we'll iterate this for loop according to our required length So inside this for loop first we'll get the random integer using random class object okay so I'll create one integer variable index and in random class object there is a method next int this will provide us any random integer okay but we'll provide some range here in that range we want the any random integer so for that I'll provide alphabet dot length so this alphabet dot length provides the length of the string variable okay so this is I think this is 36 characters length and so this random dot next int will provide the any random integer from 0 to 35 okay and now we got the random integer here using this method we'll use this random integer to pick any alphabet from this alphabet string and we will store it in our request string. so request string is equals to required string plus alphabet and here we'll use character at method and we'll provide our random integer here okay this is index so this will fetch any random alphabet from this input and it will store it in here okay so for each iteration it will fetch input from here so for six iteration it will fetch the six alphabets from here and we'll get six character alphanumeric string so let me print this okay let's execute you can see here guys we got six character alphanumeric string random alphanumeric string using this method okay so instead of this random class we can also use secure random class as well okay and all the implementation remains same here just you can use this random class as well this is uh, more secure than the random class one. also you can guys change this input as per your requirement like you can also add the lower cases or, or some special characters as well if you want in your input and you can use this six character or if you want the 10 character then also just change the required length and We'll execute here you can see you can see we got 10 character alpha name string okay now the third way is to using the dependency and not using only Java so we are going to use Apache or commerce dot lang dependency here to generate the alpha numeric random string so let me first remove this code okay so import as well okay so for that we need one dependency and we have to add the dependency in our pom.xml so I have created my own project so I'm going to add that dependency in uh, pom.xml file okay so let me show you how we can now uh, add that dependency so first go to the Google and search MVN repository okay and go to this website here okay and search here Apache commons lang okay search then this is the dependency we want Apache commons lang okay select latest version here this is 3.70 and copy this code so I'm using Maven so I'm copying this code if you are using Gradle then copy this code and put it in your build.gradle file okay so I'm copying this and I'm pasting this here okay so once you paste it here 
sync your project click on this maven and click on this refresh like icon here okay this will add a dependency in your project okay now we are ready to use the dependency in our project okay so first we have the class random string utils and we have this random method here so this accepts two parameters like uh, length required length and the input for our alphanumeric string okay so I'm going to pass 6 because this is our required length and I'm going to pass the input so let me copy this from here you can pass as per your requirement okay you can pass as well small as well small cases and some special characters as well okay now this will generate the alphanumeric string six character alphanumeric string using this input okay so let me store this in some variable required string okay and let me print this quite string okay let's execute you can see here we got six character alphanumeric string here if you pass here 10 then we'll get 10 character alphanumeric string okay so you can see alphanumeric string random alphanumeric string with 10 characters we got here so these are the three ways to generate the alphanumeric random string and uh, prepare yourself and use your new project also prepare for your interview as well so there are lot of real interview coding based questions are there i'm going to make videos on that so please stay tuned for those videos and please subscribe for my channel for those videos thank you so much once again bye bye